The class of 1973 gathered at ACU on April 19 through 21 for their 50th reunion. As one might expect, those present were anxious to renew friendships with those who came. This video provides you a sample of that event. You left a mark here. You've done amazing things. You'll continue to leave a mark here. But what you've done has made a massive difference for this place and the next generation that will follow, and you've led the way to show them what they need to do and what we need to do so that the, the amazing work of God will continue at Emily Christian University. Let me tell you a little bit about where we are um, academically. You know, there's always uh, steady progress at any university. Ours has been, I would say, from steady to just fast. It's really something, as I look back over the last decade that worked here at ACU, and, what's happened and the speed that's been picking up here in the last five years. So if you think back about seven or eight years ago, it was very clear in higher education that undergraduate residential programs are just there in some level of jeopardy, uh, just across the nation. Uh, fewer students are attending college, um, prices are rising. It's just hard to have the type of undergraduate experience you want in the current environment. But that's also what we're doing. <coughs> We are really good at providing a residential undergraduate experience for students. In fact, we are in psychology um, in three months. So that is something I never thought would happen, and I'm thrilled it is. So that's, that's neat to see that, um, that cycle there. Let me tell you a little about where we are um, academically. You know, there's always um, uh, steady progress at any university. Ours has been, I would say, from steady to um, just fast. Phenomenal. Um, it's really something, as I look back over the last decade that worked here at ACU and what's happened and the speed that's been picking up here in the last five years. So if you think back about seven or eight years ago, it was very clear in higher education that undergraduate residential programs are just there in some level of jeopardy. Uh, just across the nation. Uh, fewer students are attending college, um, prices are rising. It's just hard to have the type of undergraduate experience you want in the current environment. But that's also what we're doing. We are really good at providing a residential undergraduate experience. <laughs> because I thought Raymond was going to be here. <laughs> and so I'm considering leaving now. <laughs> Raymond enjoyed visiting with you the other day. God bless you, buddy. Get well. We're pulling for you. Hello. Be well, Raymond. Here we go. Raymond, Greg did a great job leading singing. Mary Beth Durham and the group sang 
We found out about three years ago at Brevard, North Carolina, over the mountain from us. From, they had a singing, went over to Brevard, and there's Mary Beth. She's been there teaching music for 30 some odd years. Such a small, small world. It's a small world. Yes, that's right. That's the name, yeah. The reason I remember that is that's my first name. This is just for you, Raymond. There's a big concept of they want there to be like a basically a sight line across campus. The, be, the front of Onset is now where that kind of cut off, so to speak. Um, now, if you go inside, when you go into the back, they renovated it, but it still looks like Onset did for the most part. Um, Halbert Wallings behind all those trees. We'll go back over there in just a second. Um, that that was what was Chambers there. So this is this is Bullock. This is where McDonald was. If that gives you an idea of where we are. renovating the inside of Nelson eventually. Um, so if you don't know that Nelson is a um, historical preserved building. Um, so we actually can't change the outside of Nelson Hall, but we can change the inside. And so um, we, why is it the outside can't be changed? It's a historical soul, which will be open um, this summer. No more Gardner. Hi guys. No Wildcats. No Wildcats. <laughs> no more Gardner Hall, but as much as I loved living in Gardner, it was time. Yeah. Yeah. It was time. So Wessel is actually larger than Bullock. It houses 25% um, more uh, beds, is my understanding. Um, it's almost it's almost ready to go. They keep telling us the beginning of July it'll be ready to rock and roll. So do, we, do the new dorms have like individual baths with each room? Or? They do not. They still have community baths, but there are it's about three rooms per bathroom. They've done it. They did a lot of research with a lot of 
consulting groups to find out the best way um, and the most the things that were best within living situations for students these days and um, found that to be a great option. So next year Slice Hall will actually be off offline what they call it. Mm -hmm. I'm a suburbing research center, um, the Dillard Center. Um, mm -hmm. That's going to be where the uh, the, the next lab uh, is going to be housed mainly. Oh, dear Christian College, we love you. Our dear alma mater today. Like stars shining brightly above you, your face shall shine brightly for me. To you, a proof faithful and loyal, while ever upholding the right. And gladly we'll give for the royal green cheers for the Thank you for watching his historic event for the class of 1973. Video and post-processing by Greg Palmer, class of 1973.